Munchkins! In this video I'm going to sh be showing off what I bought from Sheen and I bought a bunch of different slime supplies and some of the items came way bigger than what I expected so obviously I couldn't use those certain items for slime supplies but I thought I would show you all the different things that I bought because some of them were quite interesting and I didn't expect finding some of these items on their website so at the end of this video I will be mixing a few of these things into slime and if you are interested in buying your own slime supplies or whatever items from Sheen I will link their website in the description of this video. I thought that this gumball machine would be way smaller than what the actual size is when I received it so I thought it would make for a cute slime charm or something but this was way too big and then I also found these chicken pieces and I'm really excited to try and use that for mold in the future make a mold of it and then use it as a DIY clay slime and then I also found a lot of these gummy bear charms and these earring charms so a lot of the items on scene are actually meant as earrings or as some type of jewelry but I just thought I could maybe take the peg out and then it could easily serve as a slime charm as well. One of my coolest finds on Sheen were these bags of gummy bear charms. I especially love these ombre gummy bears with some glitter mixed into them. So I was really excited to make a big crunchy slime using these charms. I added some of my own sugar gummy charms that I made and then I also just added a bit of glitter and the crunches that this slime made were insane. I love it so 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 much. Next, I decided to make a cute mixing video using these adorable little ducky charms that I found on Sheen as well. And I added the big duck charms as well. And it just also made a really awesome crunchy slime. So name this slime in the comments if you have a suggestion. I actually recently bought a bunch of duck charms from our supplier. So I definitely want to design a few cute ducky slimes for our website. Another one of my absolute favorite charms that I found on Sheen were these earrings and they are little blocks of noodles and I was just really excited to make a cute noodle mixing video using these charms and it was actually really easy to remove the earring part and then it just is a normal slime charm so I decided to make some ramen noodles inspired by this picture that I found on Pinterest and I decided to make a egg out of some clay to represent the egg that you can normally get in some ramen noodles and I'm just really happy with how this slime turned out. I also decided to add in some mushroom fimo slices and some salami fimo slices as well as some sesame seed 
female or oh, sesame seed sprinkles and I'm really happy with how the slime turned out. I absolutely love these chip earrings that I found on Sheen as well and it was also really easy to remove the earring part of these charms and immediately when I saw the chip charms I had to make a chips and guac inspired slime inspired by this picture that I found on Pinterest and I'm really happy with how the slime turned out. I am obsessed with these milkshake charms that I found on Sheen as well and I just had to make some slimes inspired by them because they are so cute. It was also really easy to remove the earring parts out of these charms and then they are just little charms for slime. I'm super happy with how all three of these slimes turned out. They all look so delicious. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most. And I'm almost thinking I should turn this into a milkshake bundle that we sell on our website because they are just absolutely adorable. I am obsessed with these chicken replica food charms that I found on Sheen. I got a nugget as well as a deep fried drumstick chicken. It was also really easy to remove the pegs out of these items. I sort of just twisted them out of place and then I just had to make a mash and gravy and deep fried chicken inspired slime meal and I'm really really happy with how this turned out. I actually showed this video to someone before editing it and they couldn't believe that it was slime so I'm really happy with how this turned out. If you want to see the mixing of this video make sure to go and have a look at the most recent TikTok video that we posted. It will be over there. 
As some of you may know, some of the most popular items that we sell on our website are our DIY clay items, where you get a clay shaped like a piece of food and you get to squish that into slime. And it is just so satisfying. So when I saw this macaroon mold, I got so excited to test it out to see if I could press clay into it and get some clay macaroons out of it. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. These macaroons are absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy with how this little colorful macaroon mixing video turned out. Obviously I bought a lot more items from Sheen but I, this video would be way too long if I included many more mixing videos in this video so I decided to limit it to some of my favorites if you want some more mixing videos using Sheen slime supplies make sure to go over to our Instagram page or our TikTok page and I will post a few over there thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what I managed to find on Sheen and if you would like to buy some of our slimes I will link our website in the description of this video and you can use code YouTube for 10% off your entire purchase.